Hey, what's up guys, DRC3 here, back with another My Hero Ultra Impact video, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new first anniversary fantasy event quest, and here this is an exclusive original story set in the world with a slightly unique twist for the JP first anniversary. So here we go, one week after practicing begins, we have Iz Izuku Midoriya. Preparing for the school festival is much harder than I expected. And then he runs into Eri and Togata. Eri says, Deku, Lemillion, I'm so excited. Mirio, I'm really looking forward to this. I need to make this amazing. Uh, so sleepy, but I need to practice just one more time before going to sleep, says Midoriya. And we hear some strange music. What's going on here? So we uh, tap through the screen. The song, excuse me, that's right. It was the theme song to an anime. Ari probably loves this sort of thing. I gotta show it to her the next time we meet. And then in the morning, he's waking up. Oh no, I overslept. I gotta start training right now. Let's see, where'd my sword go? There, okay, let's start with 1,000 swings. Morning, Deku, I see you're up and swinging. Midoriya, you're as eager as I am to get to work. Or Araka, Ida, you two are training as well? Of course I am. Knights must be able to move nimbly, even in a full suit of armor. I was just heading outside the village to practice my magic. You two are really motivated today. I better work even harder. That's the only way to become like All Might, the legendary hero who saved the world. Legendary hero, you've always looked to, up to him, huh? You met him when he visited our village, right? Yep, boy was I nervous. I was only able to talk to him a little. Uh, um, is it possible for me to become a hero like you? What was your name again? Deku? What an odd name. Yes, well, uh, actually, it's it's a nickname. Let's closely, listen closely, future hero Deku, you'll become a hero. Hey everyone, big news. What's the matter? The Demon King has returned. <laughs> Surprisingly, huh? It can't be. The Demon King was sealed away after being defeated by the legendary hero. How could he have been awakened? If true, this is serious. The awakened Demon King may try to destroy the world again. No way! Crazy. What should I do, All Might? Please tell me. Listen closely, future hero Deku. If you seek to become a hero, protect the smiles of yourself and others. This is a true hero. I've made up my mind. I'll go on a journey to vanquish the Demon King. Of course you have. Ha! Huh. Are you mad? You'll be killed. I'm sure All Might would do the same thing. I've gotta go. Because I want to become the greatest hero, just like All Might. Alright, and that's the end of the intro to the event. Looks very interesting. I know that was a little new, guys. If you liked me reading that or you want me to read things in the future, let me know. I was just trying it out to see how it goes. If you hated me reading it, let me know in the comments. Alright, so let's take a look at this new event. Let's start with the Futured Rewards and let's see what we have. So we have the brand new Miria Togata. His Phantom Smash Plus Ultra deals 450% damage to a single opponent. Low chance of confusing the opponent for two turns. Skill impact is increased by 40% if character has the ability to evade and there is a higher chance of confusing the opponent. Okay, so pretty good plus ultra so far. His first action skill is Banishing Blow, deals 250% damage to a single opponent, decreases a single opponent's critical hit rate by 40% for 3 turns, character skill impact is increased by 30% when character has the ability to evade. That's really good, that could be a technical hit. Phantom Counter gives character ability to nullify attacks and ability to counter for 2 turns, also increases character's critical hit rate by 30% for 3 turns, normal attacks. Okay, so that's really good, increasing critical hit rate is really good. Uh, dodging and countering is really good, so he's looking really good compared to the strength of Mirio so far. It's going to depend on his auto skills. Let's see. First auto skill, Unbreakable Force of Will, gives character the ability to evade one time for every three critical hits. Very good for VE Tower. Also increases character's plus ultra gauge by 25% for every three non-critical hits. Uh, that is very good. Just Like the Sun increases critical hit rate of all ally big three characters by 20%. Okay. I, that is a sick passive. That is really good. This SR Mirio is going to be sick, guys. He's a really good free-to-play character. Make sure you get him and fully get him awakened. All right. Waiting for lunch. Regenerates character's HP by 20% for five turns when a wave starts. Medium chance of canceling one of the character's status ailments for every three critical hits. That memory is okay. I'm much more interested in the Mirio. The Mirio looks very, very, very good. 
Okay, so let's take a look at the missions here and see what the new missions are going to be for this event. It is a boss battle event, so I'm interested. Okay, so we got our dailies, complete three events, five events, be any boss once. Okay, simple and straightforward. The ongoing ones, join an event. Hey, we got 60 stamina right there we can claim. And then as per usual, we get the pieces just like any other boss battle event. Complete 30 event quests, 10 event quests, 50 event quests, 100 event quests. 200 whoa wait a second we have 500 event quests and we get these fragments okay you are fragments for a ur limit breaker that's nice okay and then it looks like the same thing for sr limit breakers okay very very nice it looks like we can get multiple maybe resets the lineup at the hero lottery exchange okay i only see one ur fragment does that mean there's going to be a part two question mark question mark part two guys part two I, I don't know anything. I'm just, you know, <laughs> guessing. <laughs> but that would be very cool if there is a part two. Okay, so let's take a look at the hero lottery. It's looking like, yep, it's a normal hero lottery where you'll get like draw one, you're gonna get your character and your alpha orb, and then like draw nine or 11, I don't know, remember which one it is, you'll get your beta orb. How many event quests are we gonna have? Is it one to five? Is it one to eight? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten event quests on normal. So that is going to be fun. It looks like we're going to be finding the fantasy Bakugo and Deku. Bakugo being the final boss. I guess they're hyping Bakugo up more than Deku. Whatever the case. <laughs> I guess that's all good and well. They can do what they want. And the boss battle, <laughs> they even have the picture of Bakugo. So may maybe maybe they meant for Bakugo to be better. Um which would explain the summons why Bakugo seems better than Deku, but who knows. Before we end off this video, let's take a look at the new missions in the game. So you got all of these missions right here. You know, we got our first pink ticket there just for joining the event. Make sure you go and join the event so you get your pink ticket. But they're giving out 100 free tickets of these, and you want to make sure you're doing all these free pink tickets to get them as much as possible. In addition to those, they're giving out gems. They're giving out stamina. They're giving out bars. Guys, there is just so many missions. Like, if I were to take time and scroll through every single one of these missions and read them all off to you, it would literally take me, like, a, a ten full 10-minute ten video on its own just to read these missions to you. Like, look at how many there is. And this isn't even all of the pink tickets you can get, I don't think. And they also have these memory medals that you can use in the memory shop. So those are really good too. 500 mem memory medals. Those are going to be really, really nice. So make sure you guys are grinding out these missions. Make sure you're getting your pink tickets for free summons. Those are potentially free UR characters and memories. Also, get your memory orbs as well. Wow, this first anniversary is shaping up to be amazing. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you would like to see me do the event quest on normal or hard, let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. Thank you for watching. Peace.